from nothing to something like it's nothing Yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion, bitch, I'm ballin' I made a promise to my mama, I'ma turn these zeros into tens of commas Hey everybody, what is going on? We are back with another episode of the Indianapolis Colts All Madden Slow Rebuild and we are on the road taking on the Houston Texans in the first official game of the regular season. Coming into this one, uh, we are going to actually... Every job is open. So we are consistently looking at what everybody is doing what kind of numbers people are putting up, and who's out there playing hard and who's not giving their full effort. So it is an open audition every single game. Andrew Luck starting at quarterback, of course, and he's going to go down. We definitely need these linemen to hold up, and they don't do it there. Now on third and 14, going to throw it over to Jack Doyle. Not going to pick up the first down, but hey, it's a seven-yard pass. Houston does nothing with their first possession, and Andrew Luck misses a wide-open Nash Wiener downfield. Now second and ten, and Andrew Luck going to go down at the hands of J.J. Watt. Another sack for the Texans. Expect a lot of those as their defensive line and linebackers are just very good at getting in. That time, D.J. Reader. Gets in for the sack. And now a little screen to Ito Smith as we try him out at running back as well as Chuck West. Chuck West got hurt earlier in this game. Ito Smith making the most of it. There's Nash Wiener blowing away the corner for the touchdown. Nash Wiener in his first career catch is a touchdown. Could have been before earlier in the first quarter as well. Now second quarter going down field on third and twenty on third and twenty-five, and it is T.Y. Hilton making the grab. And then a huge sack again. JJ Watt getting through the offensive line. Now with third and fourteen up and a errant throw there by Andrew Luck almost intercepted. He had a little luck on that one. Houston down 7-3, and there's Nash Wiener again, just not able to get into the end zone, though he does make a nice grab. Now on a third and goal, Luck rolling to his right. He's got Nash Wiener wide open, and that's another touchdown. Looks like Nash Wiener and T.Y. Hilton, the only guys out there trying to make plays in the passing game. Edo Smith with a run, and that one's actually pretty good. That's going to set up a third and two later on. Edo Smith does not get it. They would end up punting. And there's Edo Smith, this time in a passing game on a second and eight. He's going to pick up the first down, a second and six now. It is Andrew Luck throwing over to T.Y. Hilton, and it's a nice play. It's a nice first down. Third and goal, however. From the nine, Luck going to roll. He's got Nash Wiener, but he misses him. Bad throw, Andrew Luck. The field goal is good. Houston would score as well. It is a 24-17 ball game. And now Ito Smith trying to pick up the third and inches, and he doesn't. Houston scores. It's a tie game now. Early in the fourth, and Andrew Luck missing Nash Wiener again. He will hit Fuller for an interception. Now third and 16 in a tie ball game. Later on, and another not very smart throw by Andrew Luck, throwing in a triple coverage. Third and two as the Colts would get the ball back. Ito Smith going to pick up that third and two. Now third and ten. Luck. Trying downfield, he does not get it, so the field goal would be good. It is 27-31 after Houston scores a touchdown on their next drive. And a nice throw, Chester Rogers coming up with a great catch up the middle of the football field. And then there's Jack Doyle getting open up the center. Third and two now for the Colts. Andrew Luck rolling. He is going to take it himself inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Time is running out on this game. And Andrew Luck would take a sack. A timeout called by the Colts. Now second and goal from the 17. Luck under pressure. Can't get it over the head of Bernardrick McKinney. And that will do it for the ball game. 
as the Colts will take the L today. 27 to 31. Close game, a lot closer than some of the preseason games, but still not able to get it done. Andrew Luck, not a very good quarterback rating, only 55%, two touchdowns, two picks. Deshaun Watson, close to about the same, 56%, two touchdowns, two picks. So both quarterbacks not really having the best of games, but Lamar Miller out there throwing up 167 and two scores. Ito Smith, not bad, 52 yards. Nash Wiener came to play today, the undrafted rookie, 104 and two scores. T.Y. Hilton with 62 yards, Doyle with 54 yards. Evaluating the offensive line, they were terrible today. Uh, gave up six sacks. The offensive line did so. That is that is concerning to say the least. JJ Watt with three sacks. He was wrecking the offensive line. Some interceptions out there. Our defense at least got two. What's going on, everybody? We are back here with the Indianapolis Colts. All Madden realistic rebuild, and we are on the road again for the second straight week. This time we are taking on the Cleveland Browns. That's right, the team that just went 0-16. See what they did in the offseason to improve. I would expect their home fans to be energized and ready to come out. They are 1-0 so far this season. So after going 0-16, they've already won their first game of the season, and they look to beat the Indianapolis Colts here today. We have Jack West back, and he is back and running with the fresh legs coming off of his injury last game. Nice run for him and a first down. That'll set us up with a first and 10 at the 34-yard line. However, the offensive line still playing a little bit shitty. There's an incomplete pass by Andrew Luck on third down, so it'll set us up with a field goal. However, Cleveland scores again, setting them up with a 11-point lead. Good run again by Jack West. Andrew Luck getting free and throwing to Jason McCourty. McCourty with a nice interception there, cutting off Doyle, who the pass was intended for. Now third and nine for the Colts, and Chester Rogers, nice catch, staying in bounds. Second and four now after a first down play of six yards from Jack Doyle. And the first down picked up by Jack West. Second and ten now later on. And it is, of course, Nash Wiener, the man who made a name for himself as an undrafted rookie in game number one. Despite us losing, he was a silver lining in the game. That drive ends with a field goal as well. Now 28-6 later on. Nice throw off his back foot, I have to say. Andrew Luck on that play. Second and one, a Nash Wiener again getting free this time way up the center of the field and on a nice long play. Third and one, Jack West can't get it done, but now fourth and one, they're going to go for it, and they give it to the fullback, Khaled Hill, and he is going to get there. Now on the screen play, it's Jack West trying to get to the first down marker. He doesn't quite get there, leaving a second and two for Indianapolis. And it's going to be a first down play to Chester Rogers. That's nice. Third and ten. Andrew Luck again rolling free and unable to get the completion to Doyle up the center of the field. Would have been a great help. It's 28-12 to 12 now after another field goal by Indianapolis. There's Chester Rogers making a huge play. Third and 12, downfield it is Nash Wiener on third and 16, excuse me, and Nash Wiener finds his way into the end zone again. This man has really come on strong here in the beginning part of the season. There's an incomplete on third and seven. Later on, a third and two in a 28 to 18 game. It is Jack West gonna make the catch across the middle and pick up some yards after the catch. Here is Andrew Lucky's got a man, and wow, what a play by Jamie Collins to get up there and make the interception. Browns later on with a 34-18 lead, and Luck missing Nash Wiener, who is just able to blow away most corners in the league this year so far. There's a nice throw to Boyd, however. Boyd making the first down. He is also an undrafted rookie free agent receiver. And there's Austin 
another, a third undrafted rookie free agent receiver making a play for this Colts team. Downfield play is cut off by Kindred. And Derek Kindred with the interception. That is pretty much going to do it for this game. There is no way Indianapolis coming back from that kind of deficit. This final score would end 34 to 18 in favor of the Cleveland Browns. So Indianapolis starting off this young season 0 and 2, two straight road losses for this Colts team, and they really need to figure out. Uh, their offense a little bit better. I mean, their defense obviously doesn't have the talent. The offense has some talent. The only issue is the offensive line is young. They haven't been blocking very well for Andrew Luck, and Andrew Luck's been making some mistakes out there. As you can see, a 51.7 rating with three interceptions today. Jack West did very well, 4.5 average. The problem is when you're playing from behind, you can't really run as much as you'd like to. Nash Wiener, 107 yards and a touchdown. He has just been playing really, really nicely this season. Couple bright spots today, uh, but the offensive line was not one of them. As you can see, four guys in the offensive line giving up sacks today. And there they are, Miles Garrett, Ogan Joby, just getting a ton of sacks. Next week, we will finally have a home game. We'll be taking on the Tennessee Titans, both teams 0-2. Let me know what you think is going to happen in that game in the comments section below. Let me get your thoughts on this game. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you are new because... I'd like to see the support on this series, and if there is support, it will stick around. Thank you.